debris scattered everywhere. We have major, major damage at grain bins, in the middle of the road, tractors. It's absolutely intense. Welcome, Internet. This is Clarence, and we're out chasing again. This time we are in central Iowa, just east of Eldora, uh, in Hardin County. We're uh, keeping an eye on Cumulus Field here. Um, ahead of a approaching cold front from the northwest on a low pressure based in south central Minnesota. It's been kind of an interesting day. Uh, initially thought maybe I'd be chasing out uh, in northern and western Illinois, uh, if not that, at least eastern, southeastern Iowa along a warm front. Uh, there's a lot of speculation there'd be a good environment for tornadoes, uh, but the overnight convection has greatly limited that uh, from the cloud cover and resulting precipitation. So we are on this cold front, hoping for something more than just marginal, severe in this slight risk area. There is a severe thunderstorm watch that we are on the southern edge of that extends all the way up to just about uh, uh, Minneapolis Twin Cities. So we're just waiting to see for a little more definition on where things are going to fire up. Kind of an unknown at this point. There's some lines of storms from about uh, oh Highway 3 up to the Minnesota border. Honestly don't look that great for chasing, especially for discrete cells and tornadoes. So we're kind of hoping for a discrete cell here uh, right in the Heart of Iowa, here in Hardin, and then to the East Grundy County. So we will see what develops, and hopefully I'll have a good reason to check back in. All right, we are just about five miles north of Kellogg, Iowa. That's in central Iowa, just to the east of Des Moines. We have a severe thunderstorm to warn cell ahead of us that may be starting to develop a bit of a rear flank downdraft here. Uh, it's isolated out ahead of some other cells that are riding a cold front. It's got ample moisture coming out of the south. And we have a pretty good sized hell pour just ahead of us that hopefully we will stop if we need to and avoid. And then come on south on uh, the back side of the cell and follow it east and see if we get any tornadoes.
A severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located over Pella, moving east at 25 miles per hour. Expected hazards include tornado and quarter-size hail. This is a radar indicated threat. The following events are expected. Flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles will occur. Square center of the frame. of a tornado. Sirens and Alan Pella. Have to reposition here soon.
Central Iowa until 7 p.m. At 6.37 p.m., a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located over Pella, moving in at 25 miles per hour. Expected hazards include tornado and quarter-sized hail. This is a radar indicated flag. Well, chase day's over. It's now sunset, just before nine o'clock. It's kind of an unexpected chase. As I said earlier, initial thoughts was maybe Eastern Iowa, Northern Illinois. And then uh, as I departed Des Moines, decided to go north, uh, went as far as Highway 20. Um, kind of hung around Eldora for a little bit. Just waiting for some cells to develop in that area, which really didn't happen. At about the same time, there was a cell that was kind of developing over the Des Moines area. And it was very elongated, east to west, nothing real special. And then there were a few more that kind of filled in uh, just to the west of Marshalltown. And I decided to go down and check those out. And the further south I go, I'd kind of look at the cell, see what it was doing, and just wasn't all that appealing. Um, there was one cell that was kind of out ahead of the others and ended up getting consumed by the ones that had developed farther west along I-35, uh, right along the cold front. Uh, and I just kept going south uh, to the southernmost cell. Very uncertain anything would happen. Wasn't looking that great. Uh, decided, you know, this is the, the one chance I'd have today, so make the most of it. Swung around out ahead of the storm, uh, just barely to the south along uh, Highway 163. Came into Pella, just to the north of the Vermeer Corporation uh, plant. I pulled over and uh, watched the cell come in. Uh, I didn't want to go any further west, just given the road conditions the storm motion moving uh, east southeast uh, and Lake Red Rock uh, would have kind of gotten in the way of any sort of a escape plan if needed. So I decided to play it safe and let the storm come to me. Uh, at first it seemed more like a gust front situation, a worst first kind of storm as I'd like to call it. Uh, but eventually I, I could see kind of in the distance on the horizon uh, kind of backlit a a bit of a mesocyclone uh, and as that approached soon there was a tornado warning i uh, saw a wall cloud and then eventually a tornado uh, it was very brief kind of up and down uh, reports say there was a farm uh, outbuilding that was damaged uh, no one was injured thankfully um, it proceeded to move to the southeast towards Pella, which i was a little concerned for fairly populated area and uh, luckily uh, didn't touch down anymore is really just a funnel cloud overall an unexpected day i should have listened to my intuition when i left uh, des moines at noon it's a bit folksy of me uh, but something my dad always said that on um, certain trees especially maples if you see the bottom side the silver side turn up Usually it's going to storm. Uh, it indicates a pretty strong southerly wind here in Iowa. Uh, and it was right. So there's a lot of moisture. I noticed when I purchased my Pepsi there at Casey's before I left, 
just immediate condensation. Uh, so I had a good feeling around Des Moines, but silly me, I was looking at the models and decided to head north. Luckily, I uh, made the proper adjustments and pivoted down south. So time to go home. Got about an hour drive. Hopefully, uh, there's a restaurant open because I'm pretty famished. So thanks for hanging out with me today. Hope you enjoyed the video. As always, uh, appreciate any subscriptions. And uh, we'll see you next time. We'll see you next time.